Good morning and welcome to Frank School's 7th year 28th day first video, The Making of Resurrection. That's what I'm going to call these videos from now on, I think, The Making of Resurrection. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I could have put in here added that this is, I want to talk about the location. Uh, one, uh, one location, uh, this one right here. Uh, now, I hope I've got that camera set right because I'd like you to be able to see all this. But first of all, uh, if not, uh, just listen. Yesterday's photos. Uh, yesterday, uh, once again, I went outside and I took all maybe 50 photographs, maybe not that many. Now, the, the need was not quite so urgent because of the weather, because these photographs are inside. But still, the purpose to show disarray, disorder, destruction, abandonment, but of the shops, of the various uh, workstations that are available to these, to these characters. I've said elsewhere that actually in reality I have about 80 workstations that I could take you by and name. Now here's where this is done on this site. This is after all the Camp Ranch campus of Frank School and devoted in many ways toward the, the arts, the crafts. Uh, but anyway, I took a lot of pictures uh, yesterday, so I have them now available, and they would be used probably at the beginning of Act 2, where the characters, after that dramatic first day and night, they go out and look at what they have. Another thing I wanted to say is I mentioned a fair. I talk about a fair. Well, here, uh, a fair is a big, really big event with a carnival and rides and that's not what I'm talking about. When I talk about a fair, that's still the right word for it in English, even though it's been sullied in a way. Uh, in my mind, I have a feta in mind, which is a Portuguese word, uh, which is small, usually, it doesn't have to be, uh, and it's weekly, uh, uh, in my mind, a feta. Uh, a swap meet, I don't know if this is an A or no. a swap meet might be a better example of it, almost as small as like a... a yard sale they call it. Flea market? Flea market maybe. I don't know. Uh, but in any case uh, it would be quite wrong to imagine some huge big dramatic active fair. That's not what I have in mind. As a matter of fact I could say that the fair would go right here. That that I call, I've called in my mind for a long time. This is the fair field because it's a place that a fair could occur. This is the public road not visible <coughs> throughout almost all the movie, maybe all the movie, I don't know. It's kind of hidden, you don't really see it. <clears throat> all right, another thing. All right, now let me start with this. This is more or less north, north is up in that direction. The place where I'm teaching right now is in the basement of a house right there, which is not seen and probably should not be seen in the movie. This is also something that should not be seen. This, this we call the cherry tree house. It's a very, very big house that that I moved uh, many years ago, the house my mother's great-grandfather built. And it's got a whole story. These buildings, th though, are, and even the pond, that's so tantalizing to have that pond available. It's really wild around it now. Now, I don't know. I don't know if there'd be time, and I don't even know if it would be that appropriate, because the village, the original village, d did not have a pond. As a matter of fact, the village Probably it had it certainly had some buildings up here. All right, so the overture. Let me tell you about the overture. It it will start with a photograph taken from probably about here toward these buildings. That's where the principal house in the village was. Right, was right there. It was right there. Now in this it shows nothing there except you can make out a foundation. Uh, no, that's not right. It's here. Um, and the, the picture was taken that way, and I have that picture. It's about 150 years old, and I'd start with that after the name. Uh, and then uh, a, a more modern, well, completely modern picture taken from my friend's drone, pretty much in the same angle to show what it looks like now, and it looks really rough. And then maybe some back and forth with pictures, and then, uh, and then some details in here, but the, what I'm getting at is then uh, the progression of the photographs in the overture would move this way and they pick up a spring that's now the, all of this is derelict I mean this is in all of this is in terrible shape that's the point and it's covered a lot of it's covered with snow uh, it would pick up that uh, there's a blacksmith shop there 
And the order of the pictures would basically go around this way, picking up almost everything that can be seen that looks like it's destroyed. And eventually, it would move its way up to here. And up here, this is the top of the hill, there would be a view of the mountain. And the mountain becomes important. Well, Important as a source, these characters, after all, are based on gods and goddesses. Where did they come from? Well, there would be the suggestion that, well, they came from the mountain up there. Now, there's a, bare, a somewhat bare spot up on that mountain where I have for a long time thought you could actually build a village up there. All you'd need to make sure you had a water supply. But anyway, there'd be a shot of that. And then the characters would come out, approach the old man. The overture will basically end with the... Uh, a, a, a portrait of the of an old man sitting up here. This stuff is not there anymore, and I call that point there the moot point. Uh, you know, sometimes I think it would be a good place to at least think of it as a temple to the earth, wind, and fire, and water, the four elements, or to guy. I don't know, but it's it's bare. But the man would be sitting here, and he would see these characters arrive. Bryn first, who is his daughter actually. There's an aqueduct right here. Uh, built low, uh, not don't think of a stone aqueduct. It's it's an earthwork, but there's an aqueduct right there. Well, she would come out of the woods and approach him. Uh, the uh, the the scary big black guy Festus. He wouldn't have to be black, but Festus. Uh, he might come struggling kind of up this steep hill. A lot of it to develop his his strength and his power. Uh, but the, these are coming not from the sort of real world, but out of the woods they're coming. Uh, so he would arrive. Uh, and, then, and then Batch, who's the comic character, and I've questioned a little bit about at what point should he be there? Uh, should it be, be the third character, or fourth it would be, character to arrive? I think so. Could be the fifth, because he will bring in uh, comic relief. He needs to kind of be struggling too to, to look funny uh, since he's overweight and struggling up this hill. Uh, he approaches. Then, um, then um, Anna, who's associated with water. Now we pick her up back here in the woods coming through a, a stream of water. There's abyss is what the right word for it is. Think of it as a narrow waterway, water supply. She is associated with water, and we could pick her up, clear back in the woods, and follow her as she, at first, as she approaches, but then she would eventually come, and perhaps actually wade right, probably wade right through the water that's in this aqueduct, given that she glories in water and is associated with water. Then uh, the, uh, the, the couple, they arrive in a very beat up, impossibly <laughs> beat up pickup truck. Uh, and they carry with them chickens and uh, two children, I think. Uh, uh, two children are in this pickup as well. And uh, a bunch of other stuff that a person couldn't just normally carry. And there is a road that comes down through here. And we could pick them up up here. And why to pick them up sooner has to do with the musical theme. Uh, the first theme I would use with them, I think, is the... Uh, the Mozart went out of the magic flute. Da, 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 man and wife, whatever. Pick them up as they're driving down through the woods. And then, I and probably stick with that theme and not go to their other theme from the Bach double violin concerto. And they would drive here, and there is a way to drive through here. And and so viewed largely from this direction, but they would get the pickup stuck uh, right about in here. And and this is, a, I, I've got a new way to think about the, the, the stress of their arrival and to get them all uncomfortable and wet and miserable. Well, the truck gets stuck and they have to get it unstuck. And it occurred to me too that this might be a chance for Hephaestus to demonstrate his unbelievable strength as he gets behind that pick up and, and gets it unstuck. That, that's all quite doable. But then eventually, either all together or, or possibly all together, I don't know, probably Festus aside, because he's got to be identified as being unhappy, angry, sad. They would move down here into the village. And the village is right here. It's 
right there. Uh, well, and it wouldn't even really include that building. It would. It's right in here. Now the original village was bigger than that, as near as I can tell. But, but you see, this is only archaeological remains. The gardens are here. The um, the cluster of five huts, which becomes Anna's domain, will be right about here. Five folk huts together. Uh, four folk huts together right here will be the place that the couple, um, Paul and and, uh, and Robin and their two children, end up uh, staying. And then finally, uh, the fairs here. I told you about this. A lot, a lot. Some of it would be inside. But anyway, by the end. I can imagine, and this would be in probably at the very beginning of Act 5, a drone flight which would be similar. But now everything would be colorful, full of flowers, not looking in disrepair. It would look great. Uh, and that drone flight would come up through here, following the characters as they walk up here, and then they depart. Not all of them, but some of them depart. The main ones that depart would be uh, Bryn. And uh, who, who we find out is actually her father, the old man, Marion, they would leave and they would go back into the woods. Uh, and I, I don't know, uh, Festus at this point becomes such a major character because Festus, uh, keeping this unhappy character throughout the whole movie, it's at that point that he catches sight suddenly of his wife and two children who he thought were dead coming out of the woods. Now where they're coming from, we don't have to explain. But there's where he runs to meet them. He's crippled, but he runs anyway. He runs through, probably slips in the water, lands in the mud, doesn't matter at all. He wants to get to them, and this very happy reunion would occur right about there, where he finally has his wife and his children back. And, and that, that is the ultimate kick at the end of the movie. Then it would jump to the credits, with maybe a, a little joke by Batch. Well, anyway, I was doing all this to give you an idea of the site itself. Bye for now.